Uh, right. Okay then. So tonight we're going to look at splinter bids. Okay. So somebody usually it's it's not necessary after someone's uh, oh, sorry it's it's not usually opposite an opening bid. It's not always, but it quite often is. So somebody might open one heart. Okay. And then what you'd do then is you could jump, okay, up to something like three spades, four clubs, or four diamonds, right? All of those would be what's known as a splinter bid. And what that shows is it shows at least four card support, okay, and a 13 count. Okay, everyone got that? So let's say you open a heart, partner bids four clubs, they're showing 13 plus points, and a singleton avoiding that suit that they've splintered in. Okay, and they've got four card support at least. And basically what they're doing is underwriting game. And then the idea is, is that if you don't have many points in that splinter suit, so if you've got no points in that splinter suit, then effectively you've got 30 points, okay, between the other three suits. So you can then judge whether to go on to bid a slam or not. So what, what you can do is, with all your points concentrated in three suits, you can then bid slams on less than 30 points. Okay, and it's obvious that you have uh, less than 30 points more than you have more than 30 points. Okay, so this enables you basically to bid slams, which are which are tricky to find. It's hard to pitch a partner with a singleton. Okay. So when partner splinters, they're saying they've got 13 points in the rest of the suits. They've got four mm -hmm. card support, okay? And they're underwriting game, okay? Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll talk about it a bit more, okay, as we go on. But so, so let's, let's do that tonight. So we're playing splinters, so let's crack on with the bidding. Let's see if we can do that. Is everyone understanding of that? Well, well, <laughs> Probably as we play it, we'll be able to see it. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's the idea. So obviously that bid is alertable. So how, how would I go on from there? Well, your partner's made a decision. Basically, right. they don't like your splinter bid. So, Kathy, if you just rewind a little bit, let's try and get this first hand right. <laughs> okay, so your partner, Kathy, has bid four hearts. They've got no points. Okay, they've got no points in hearts. So when you splinter, you shouldn't have any points. Or what you should do is not to count those points. So... If you've got like a singleton king, it's basically waste paper, okay? So you'd need like a 16 count then. You'd, you'd discount that singleton king. So you're saying you've got, partner's saying he's got a singleton heart and four spades and values in the other two suits as well, okay? So there's this thing called a rule of 26, okay? It's just a guide. So what you do is you add up your point between the between uh, mute. Oh, just gonna want mute. Uh, sorry, mute Patrick. I find it because it's, uh... it's an awful lot of noise. Yeah, I'm just muting you, Patrick. Sorry about that. Just making a lot of noise. So basically, there's this thing called a rule of 26. Just a guideline. So what you do is you add up your points in the rest of in the other three suits. So you take out your points from the heart suit. Okay. You look at your points in clubs, diamonds, and spades, and you add that to partner's points in clubs, diamonds, and spades. So partner's promising at least 13 points, mm -hmm. okay? And then you've got to add on your points. Now, if that comes to 26, then there's a good chance that slam is on. Okay, Cathy? Do you understand that, or was it a bit confusing? Hello, Cathy? Kathy? Oh, has she gone? Oh, no. 
I haven't muted hey, uh, she, she's in she's in the other room I can hear her she's trying to talk to you but she's on my other, she's on the on my other PC let me just go and see whether the sounds turned down <clears throat> Okay, I just saw that sound issues. So just remind me again, um, John, yeah. after a seven opening bid like this, of like one spade, you then, you, your splinter is then four of another suit. It's, if is it's, right? if it's, um, so if it's one spade, the splinter bids are four clubs, four diamonds and four hearts. Right, okay. so it's the four, yeah, okay. If it's one heart, yeah. then it's three spades. Oh, right. Yeah, because one heart, four spades, you're going past four hearts, you see. Right. So oh. one heart, three spades is a splinter bid. Right. One heart, four clubs, one heart, four diamonds. They're all splinter bids. One heart. And I love this bid sorry, because what heart, it does, sorry, it gets over your hand all in one go. One sorry, heart, go on. Three, one heart, three spades, one heart, four diamonds. Yeah, they're one all splinter heart, bids. One heart, four clubs. Yeah. Right, but with one... One spade, um, it's uh, four of each, is it? Four? That's four correct. Hearts, it's four. Four, hearts, four, four diamonds. All the four bids on, on, the, on the four okay. level. Yeah, they're all splinter okay. bids. Okay. So the idea is that if you've got like no points in that suit, then you're basically you're playing with what's known as a 30 point pack. Right. Okay. You, you, you're looking at the 30 points in the other three suits. And if you've got 30 points, then yeah. you've only got one loser, which is in, in the splinter suit, okay? If they've got a singleton, okay? So your splinter is either a singleton or a void. Mm. So if you've got a singleton, then you've only got one loser. If you've got 30 points in the other suit, if, you, if you've got 30 points in spades, clubs, and diamonds, then you're only going to lose the one trick in the splinter suit. And if you've got a void, then you probably shouldn't lose any then, mm. Okay. So this is why this is rule of 26. It's like, mm. basically, you lose that one trick. And as long as you've got all the aces, then you're only missing, say, a king, or you might be missing some jacks, let's say. Mm. And quite often, you can combine, um, you know, stuff like if you've got, like, ace, king, jack, x, opposite, queen, x, in, in a particular suit, then you can partner can then ditch two cards, OK, in another suit, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, that you might be weak in, okay, so... Right, come and sit through here, and then you can get to the mirror. Sorry, guys, we're just saw, trying to sort out Kathy's uh, sound. <coughs> Plug it in. <laughs> Turn it up. There we go. Can you hear me now, John? Yeah. I'm shouting from the other side of the room now, rather than being in a different room. Um, so the, just the rule of 26. Um, yeah, so it's a rough guide, rough guide, yeah. In a splinter situation, because we've always told that slam is 32, 33. That's right, you see. But with splinters, you see, it's more about shape, you see. And you have a look at your points in, in that suit, OK? I'm not going to tell everyone what it is, but you look at your points in that suit and basically your partner's saying they've got 13 points in the other three suits and you've got no points in hearts. And then if you add your points in the other three suits, okay, add them together, if that comes over 26, okay, then there's a good chance it slams on, okay? Right. And also, quite often, if, you, if you've got extra, if you've got, like, extra length and stuff like that, that can also... That obviously assists, you know, so if you've got six cards in the, in the trump suit, for instance, then obviously that's more useful as well. OK, so that can that can help where you don't need as many as 26, say. OK, so you've got to think, is that is that cubid? Sorry, not cubid. Is that splinter bid useful to you? OK, so if you had waste, what's known as wasted values. So if you had like King Jack of Hearts, then that would be what's known as wasted values or queen jack of hearts. Then they're never going to be any use if partner's got a singleton. Yeah. So if you've got queen jack x of hearts opposite a singleton, then those queen jack of hearts, they're not, it's unlikely they're going to win a trick. Yeah. So 
That's why it's better to have your points outside. The useful card if the partner splinters is obviously having the ace. So if they've got a singleton, then that ace mm -hmm. takes care of partner singleton. Okay, so if you've got like lots of points in, in the in the splinter suit, like ace, king, queen, then it's not gonna be as productive, okay? Um, so look at your points outside the splinter suit. Does it add up to 26 or more? Then there's a good chance that slam's on. Okay, so you've got to decide now. Do you think slam might be on after that splinter bid? Yes, and um, presumably there's no point in playing Blackwood in this situation. Because exactly. Yeah, there's not not a lot of points. Really. Well, you could play Roman key card and check that partner's got the king and queen of spades, for instance. I'm you could do loose. that. I'm a bit loose on Roman key card. Well, don't worry. We'll, we'll do that another night, but I'll just talk you through Roman key card, okay? okay. So you just want to bid that. So what do you want me to bid? So you can bid four no trumps. Is basically a green spades now, okay? It would be Roman key card in, in spades. So with this, um, 41, 30. So five clubs would be one key, one of the five. So that's the all four aces and the king of trumps. Okay. And if you've got none or three, you'd bid five diamonds. So do you know what your bid is, William? Five diamonds. So you, that's showing that would be showing not or three. Yeah, five clubs right. is one, one or four. Right. Well, I haven't got any, haven't got any aces. Yeah, but the king of trumps is counted as an ace oh, in this right, case. Right, 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 okay. Yeah. Right. So it's five clubs. Five clubs. Right. So I'm looking at the screen. So, Kathy, if you wanted to test if partner's got the queen of trumps, you could now bid five diamonds and ask partner, do you have? Do you have the you're always queen? going one up then? One yeah, up. yeah. Right. As long as it doesn't sort of go into the um, <coughs> trump suit, which it doesn't. So that's asking, partner, do you have the trump queen? So what you usually do here, here is, if you don't have it, you just bid one up. But if you have it, you would then bid... Um, uh, you would then bid... Uh, what am I talking about now? So oh, if you have it, you, you, you basically jump to um, slam... Or, well, let, let me just put it on this one. You would bid, uh, oh, this is a bit confusing. <laughs> <laughs> You're confused. Well, normally what you do is you, you would show, <laughs> if you just bid the next one up, you show, you're denying the, tr the trump queen, okay? But if you've got it, what you also try to do then is show the kings, okay? So what you would do here, <laughs> You would bid um, six hearts, okay? Which in theory should show either the king of hearts or both minor kings, okay? So obviously it can't be the king of hearts, so therefore by bidding six hearts shows you've got the queen of spades and both kings. All right, that's a bit complicated, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it on that one. Okay. It's what's known as paradox kings. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, you'd bid six hearts here, William. Trust in the man. And some people might think, well, that could be a showing of avoiding hearts as well. That, that's that's the confusion now. So I'd have to check on that. But but I'm going to say that that is, should be showing both kings, okay, and the queen of spades. But some people may want to argue with me on that one and might decide that that should be showing. Um, oh no, no, I'm right. This is, this should show two kings because if you did have avoiding hearts, you'd actually jump over four no trumps. Okay, so that that would complete the bidding now. Six spades. Just, just a little matter of playing it now. <laughs> yeah, most of these are usually slams are pretty easy to play. To be honest with you. Oh, great! Thanks. It's the one no Trump bids. Uh, 
one no Trump contracts that are the harder ones. So make sure you plan it out then, if you need to plan it out. <clears throat> there you go. There you go. Okay. So you've got 13 points and William's got 13 points. 26 combined points. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. And how easy was that to make? Well, yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? So you don't need 33 points. If you've got some shape, okay, you can make these slams you know, on a lot less points. And I find that when I play splinters, I find, um, you know, I'll find these slams and it's just like easy. This is a really easy slam to bid this. And it's just, you know, it's straightforward. And when I, when, I, when I put it in the scorecard, whatever, and then I look at the results, I find that there's only me and maybe another pair or who's in it say and you're thinking well that was really easy you know that was like money for old rope almost yeah, yeah. so splinter bids are really powerful too I, I love splinter bids okay so any questions on that one i mean the play was straightforward no. yeah drew can trumps I ask, can i just ask about leading against when you've seen the splinter bid yeah would you lead what the splinter is that's a that's an interesting question um would you what was the question i couldn't hear it sorry yeah, i have uh, to shout sorry well but basically the question was should you so in this is looking at, at the defensive aspect okay so kathy's asking should you lead against the splinter so so in other words should barbara lead the queen of hearts or should she lead something else like the jack of diamonds or something okay so I think to maybe lead is to lead a Trump because you know they've got to fit in, in, the, in the Trump suit. So mm -hmm. leading a Trump can, because you know they want to be roughing those right. hearts. So if you lead a Trump and they haven't got the ace in the splinter suit, so you lead the Trump and then they'll play that splinter suit and then you've got the lead again and then you lead another Trump. Okay, so sometimes you can get rid of two Trumps off them 
before you right, even okay. started to rough the splinter suit. Right. Okay, so sometimes leading a trunk can be the right lead. Another mm. thing that you can do is, so it's gone one spade, four hearts. So Pat here could actually double to show that she's got solid hearts in the terms of mm -hmm. ace, king of hearts, yeah? If you know that's a splinter bit, and obviously you're going to alert it to say that I've got a mm. single in this suit, then it's unlikely that you're going to play it in four hearts, okay? So what you can do, Pat could, could double it just to show that she's got the ace in this suit, and it's like a safe lead, okay, mm. to lead it. So that's something else that you can do. Um, and sometimes um, you could even find a sacrifice. So obviously if you try to sacrifice in hearts, okay, because you've got a big heart fit between you. Yes, how many I see, would you lose? Yes. You'd lose two spades, you'd lose three yes. clubs, that's five. You'd lose two diamonds, so that's six, seven. Okay, so seven. Um, it's too many off in this situation, but sometimes right. you might be able to find a sacrifice. Yeah. Okay. Um, in that splintered suit. Okay. So yeah. sometimes leading a trump can be the right thing, or it can be just lead that splinter suit. Because mm. if you don't lead the splinter suit, you might not win that trick. Mm. Okay. So at teams, it might not be important. It might just be an over trick. But at pairs, if you don't get that mm -hmm. trick, you know, yeah. it, it could be bad. So look out for doubling. So Pat here can double four hearts for a heart lead to say she's happy with a heart lead. Yeah, which you right. are. Yeah. So you can sort of take that first trick at least. Mm. Or you can just lead like the leader spade to try and take them. If you've got like three small spades or three small trunks, then to me, that's always an ideal lead. Okay. If you can try and take... Yeah. A couple of and, and you've got the heart trick as well. If you can try and take a couple of uh, trumps off them, yeah, okay, then that's quite a useful thing to do. All right, let's have another look at another hand. Yeah. Then. Oh, I've got to press redo. <laughs> I think you've done the wrong one there, Pat. Oh, Pat. Sorry. That's what I thought. <laughs> Miss Click. Sorry. There we go. already what on earth i'm supposed to do next right so you've got to think about your hand now is that bid a useful bid does it fit well with your hand so partners saying they've got no points in clubs and they've got one club in their hand okay mm -hmm. so they've got 13 points in the other three suits at least okay yeah okay so if you've got um um if you've got 26 points in the other three suits or more <laughs> and there's a good chance that yeah. Uh, slam is on. So you'd count up your points in spades, hearts and diamonds. Add that to 13. And if that's more than 26, then there's a good chance that slam is on. Okay? So then you'll just then ask for aces as, as we've just done there. Okay? Right. So Just to check so that you've got three aces. Four no trunks then. Okay. Okay. So in this occasion, trumps are hearts. So 41, 30. So five clubs would be um, one or four, including the king of uh, trumps, king of hearts. Five diamonds would be uh, not or three. And then five hearts would show two. Okay. And then five spades would be two plus the trump queen. 
Okay, so do you know what your response is? There you go. Perfect. So what's that again? What's that is showing two, two, two aces, two out of the five. Right. Is this Roman key card? Or just yeah, that's one? Roman key card. Does that mean she what that she hasn't got the king then? You've got it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and oh, she hasn't got dear. the queen of trumps. And do you know oh, why? Right. You've got that yeah, as well. Yeah, right. Now then, what do I do? Um, oh, you can just you can just bid the slam. You can just bid it. You've got enough that. points to just bid it. You know that. I mean, with your hand, you're kind of looking for seven. If partner's got avoiding clubs, then she there is a way of showing that, okay? But she hasn't by that bid. Right. So you know you've got you're missing an ace kind of thing. Right. All right, don't take risks, Barbara. Okay. I've already done it, haven't I? You did take a risk, yeah? <clears throat> you know, got to look at where your tricks, where your winners are, What, what, where are your potential losers? How can you get rid of those potential losers? Okay. Mm. You've got lots of entries in dummy, so there's no reason to... No, just carry on anyway, yeah. Okay, so is there any trumps out? Still there, Barbara? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just thinking. <laughs> I think I'm going to lose another one, but I don't. No, know. no. I'm where are you going to sure. lose another one? You can rough the clubs and get rid of one of the clubs on the Queen of Diamonds as well. Play a diamond to your king. You played the Ace of Diamonds, remember? You might have forgotten that. Oh, I've forgotten that. That's why I was right, struggling. <laughs> okay.
just play the nine, William. There's no point in playing your ace. Yeah, you can beat it. Okay, so you've got the rest, you've got two trumps. William, yep. Just try and play a bit quicker. We can get through the hands when it's we've got a singleton or one left. So there we go. That was another pretty easy slam. So if you're bidding that normally in the club, you might go one heart and you might just bid four hearts or something with this hand. Yeah? Yeah. So one heart, four hearts, and then this hand you you probably just pass, maybe. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 16 opposite 13 you think oh i've only got 29 points or 30 points i'm about three points short of a slam yeah so some people might mm. think oh slam's not on i'm just gonna pass yeah 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 do you oh, agree you... That... so playing that call it just got one heart four hearts and yeah. you just missed an easy slam i mean that's a really yeah. easy slam to make yeah, yeah. it's simple <laughs> Could you just run through the Roman key card bit again from um, the 4 no trump bid? So basically, um, the responses are, so five clubs, it is, you've got to remember 41.30. So the 41 bit is the first bid after 4 no trumps. 41 is five clubs. Okay, so 4-1 is one of four key cards out of the five. And the five are the four aces plus the king of trumps. So that's the 41 bit. Five diamonds is zero or three. Okay. So again, that's zero or three of the key cards. Yeah. So either four aces or the king of trumps again. And then the next bit up, five hearts will be two. So you've got two. So in this case, you've got two, the ace of hearts and the ace of spades. Yeah. Okay. You don't have the king of hearts. You don't have the ace of diamonds or the ace of clubs. So that's two out of the five. So that'd be five hearts. And if, let's say, for instance, this 10 of hearts is over there and the queen of hearts is over here, that would make this bid, instead of five hearts, you'd now bid five spades to show two, two, the two out of the five, two aces and the queen of trumps. So that, that would be a five spade bid. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, it gets a bit more confusing if your splinter is a void. You then have to jump. Okay. You then bid like five no trumps or six of the suit, okay, to show um, odd numbers or even numbers. We'll, we'll get to that later, maybe, if it comes up. I can't remember. Yeah. Okay, so, again, the play is pretty straightforward. You know, just draw a couple of rounds of trumps. You only need to... You're going to lose one club, mm. okay? The other club can go on the queen of diamonds, and you only need to rough the other one then. So, mm. if even if the hearts break 3-1, okay... You can, um, and even if they break four and ill, to be honest, you could probably handle it, okay? Yeah. Um, even if they break four and ill, okay, you, you could you could handle it. Uh, you'd be very unlucky to go off, but you, you'd be roughing. Because your hearts are so high, your trumps are so high, even on a four and ill break, you could make this contract, okay? Um, <clears throat> but you just have to play it a little bit more carefully. But here, all you'd need to do, if they broke three, one, it'd be no problem at all. You draw three rounds of trumps, you play your ace, king of diamonds. Okay, you get over here, play your queen of diamonds. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, play your queen of diamonds, chuck away a, um, chuck away one. And then, um, yeah, I mean, you can even set up the diamonds as well. As it turns out, the diamonds mm -hmm. break 3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. So you can actually throw your clubs on the diamonds as well. So you see, there's all other ways of making it. You don't even have to, you don't even have to um, trump them on these yeah. hands. The diamonds break 3-3. Three, three, mm -hmm. And your diamonds can provide your discards, uh, club discards as well. Okay, so it's another straightforward hand. You, this time you've got, if you have a look, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus 7. You've got 16 points outside mm -hmm. of the club suit. And partners promised 13. So you've yeah. got 29 points, okay, mm. out of the 30, yeah? Out, so out, if you get rid of the club suit, the splinter suit, mm. you've got 29 points out of the 30. So what that means is all you're missing is a jack. You're just missing the jack of diamonds, mm. okay? And by having 29 points out of the 30, slams sort of, you know, pretty much guaranteed. You can't really go off, Okay. 
Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was another easy one. But if you're playing ACO, you might just go one heart, four hearts. And on this hand, you think, well, I'll probably end up losing a couple of clubs here, maybe. Mm. Or, or you bid four, no trumps. You find out partner's got two aces. Okay, where does that get you? You've got two aces, you're missing one. Where do you go from there? Mm. Playing ACO. You just... You're just guessing. You just no idea at all whether to go to slam or not, okay? Because yeah. uh, you probably got the ace of hearts when it goes one heart, four hearts, but you don't mm -hmm. know if partner's got the ace of clubs or the ace of spades, okay? Yeah. And you don't know how many points he's got in. You know, if partner's got uh, queen, jack of clubs or something like that, then it's not great values. No. Okay? So the splinter bid really helps you out, and it, it just makes the slam so easy. Yeah, does everyone agree? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, let's crack on to another one then. Um, oh, does anyone else want to come in? Does Stuart want to come in or anyone else who's waiting in the wings? Yeah, I will do, uh, John, if I can get in on uh, Bridge of Bears. Okay, so if uh, if someone wants to... Uh... He's not in on Bridge Base yet, he said. Oh, he's not in on Bridge Base? No, he's got to so... Maybe we can do another aren't one. There. You're there, aren't you? Yeah. It's not coming up on. Right, I'll tell you, what, we'll crack on to the next, Dan. You're coming to the next one when you're ready, Stuart, okay? Yeah. So if anyone wants to join in after this hand, then at the end of the day, it doesn't really. The, the play of the hands is pretty simple on these, to be honest with you. Let's just. Uh... Sorry, I forgot what the next bit is. So you've got to decide if that if that fits in well with your hand. So mm -hmm. partner's got like no points in diamonds, but probably got a singleton diamond, a singleton or void. So what you do is you, you check on the other three suits, okay? So partner's yeah. promised 13 points in the other three suits, okay? And yeah. if, if those points added <laughs> onto your points in those three suits, so clubs, hearts, and spades. If those add up to 26, at least 26, then you've got a good chance of slam. If they don't, then the chances of a slam are reduced, okay? There's not much chance of slam being on if you're less than 26, okay? Okay, so if 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 I haven't, do I just, do I, do I bid four no trumps? No, if, you, if there's no, if you don't think there's game on, okay? Sorry, if you don't think there's slam on, you just bid the game. The four diamonds just basically guarantees underwrites that game right. will, will make. Right. Okay. okay, but if, if that splinter doesn't fit well in your hand, so if you've got wasted values in diamonds, then you just bid the game. <laughs> now, if Kathy had more points, <coughs> if she just had, you know, if she had like a 17 count, she could then go on, but if she doesn't, she just basically then passes, okay? Got a free trick there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I did wonder, but then, then never mind. <laughs> You might make slam now.
Okay, so that broke. <laughs> That's probably what he should have left. <laughs> but she doubled them. Yeah, she shouldn't have doubled. Well, we'll discuss it afterwards. <laughs> Just play your king of clubs, William. <laughs> Right, you can claim now because that's a win and you've only got spades left, so just claim. Mm. You've actually made the slam here, but um, <coughs> okay. So, so from looking at from a dis defensive point of view, when somebody makes a splinter bid, you should only double when you've really got a, at least the ace or like king queen or something in the suit, at least, yeah. Like a solid. Oh, sorry. Well, I misunderstood what you said about yeah, if you have five. five. It's not just you've got five diamonds. Remember, when it goes one spade, four diamonds, they're yeah. basically saying that they're happy to go to four spades and they've got the majority of the points as well. South's opened, so they've got like 12 plus points, and North's saying they've got 13 plus points. Okay, so you're either defending or sacrificing. Okay. Well, I thought, sorry, I mis completely misunderstood. The double, I thought that was to show I'm happy if you lead a diamond. Well, you're not really, are you? I don't know. <laughs> Am I not? No. <laughs> right, well, okay. we saw what happened there. Pat led a diamond and you didn't win it. Okay, right. Yeah. So she thought you had the king of diamonds when you doubled, you see. She's got the ace, which is understandable. Um, I think you had the king of diamonds as well. Um, All right. So well, you I need to have you I need to have a good. Understood what you were yeah. saying about doubling yeah. them. Yeah. So you need like king queen in a suit or the ace or something like that. You're saying basically saying to partner, I've got a trick in. A, I mean, you should really have the ace really. Uh, right. For, so, for the double. Okay. Basically right. saying to partner, I've got a trick in this suit. <laughs> right. Okay. okay. And I'm happy for you to lead it. Oh, yeah. I see. Right, okay. Right, and really, you're not here. You've got a broken diamond suit. It's not a. Well, I, it's a five card suit, yeah. but it's not a great suit. Well, you don't as want... I say, I misunderstood what you meant by. Yeah. So I mean, I would, if I was Pat, anyhow, I'd have probably just let the ace of diamonds, uh, maybe. Anyway. Um, yeah. John. Yeah. In terms of the bidding, I only had twelve points. Was I right to splinter? Yeah, I think. Yeah, you, you, you've. You know, I think you'd be happy to play in four spades most of the time with this. I mean, it's roughly 13. You know, you're kind of saying you should have 13 points, but um, um, yeah, I probably should have made it. I should have added the jack of hearts in your hand or something and fixed it a bit a bit easier for you. <laughs> but yeah, you, you sort of say 13 points, at least 13 points. Okay. Um, but if you have a look at this hand now, so you, you've got the 13 points there. And seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so thirteen plus eleven, twenty-four. So you've not got the twenty-six points because what you've got is wasted values. As it turns out, this time your king of diamonds won, but that was a defensive error. So you clearly don't want to be in slam because um, you're missing two aces. 
And you're also missing the Queen of Trumps. So you, you don't want to, if the, if the spades were to break badly, and you, you could end up losing two aces and the Trump Queen. So you don't want to be in the, at the five level. And as it turns out, you made 12 tricks through a defensive error, um, but you should only be making 11 tricks on this hand anyway. Um, <clears throat> you're going to lose two aces. Yeah. So you, you don't want to be... You, know, you shouldn't be interested in this slam. So, so basically, when someone splinters, you have a look at you know the quality of your suit in a splinter suit, and you see this king jack of diamonds brings down your points. Yeah, you know, so you can't make this twenty six, mm -hmm. okay, because um, it's bringing down your total points. You've only got eleven points in the three suits out, out, outside the splinter suit. Yeah, so you don't want to be in the slam. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's have another. Is, is Stuart, uh, Stuart is ready Stuart to come in? in or? <coughs> well, I've got, I don't seem to be able to get it on um, Bridge Base. Mm -hmm. I'm logged in, but I can't see the cards. Is anybody else that wants to come in? Because I'll sit out if there's anybody else. Okay. No? Well, okay. it doesn't look like there is, so we'll carry on. Okay. Doesn't matter. I mean, the play's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying about slams are pretty usually straightforward. Maybe they'll get a bit harder. I can't remember. Hey, what? No, that's wrong. <clears throat> you got fat fingers there, Pat. <laughs> I'm on a touch screen. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Alert. What? Oh. That bit no, no, it shouldn't be alerted. It's just natural. I don't know why. Don't know why it's alerted. It's no, it's just a natural club. Right, so Pat, before you make a bid, yeah, have a think of um, what what the topic of uh, of tonight is. So I'm thinking for spades. Ah. No. What's the topic of tonight? <laughs> Splinter for diamond. Okay, there we go. And I alert because it's... Yeah, yeah, you'd alert. <clears throat> John, would I read double to indicate play me a diamond? Or to yeah, you can diamond? double here if you want. Oh, I don't know what to do now. Right. right. So, partner knows you've got about six points, but now they're splintered. Okay, so they've got about a 19 count. Yeah? Why have they got 19? Because I thought that they just had to have 13 or something. Why have she suddenly got 19? Well, you, you, your response just shows a six count. And now she's basically jumped to game. Right. Yeah? She's jumped to game. She's bid four diamonds, which is a splinter bid. Okay. So she's showing a singleton diamond <laughs> or a void. And she's got four spades in her hand. Right, and she's okay. probably got five clubs as well. Well, hold on, just, just, let's just undo this, Barbara, and have a think. 
So think about the rule of 26. Think about the points outside of the diamond suit. So if partner's got about a 19 count, add on your points outside of the diamond suit. Okay. <clears throat> if you get 26 or more, there you go. I think you've got there. <laughs> I, don't I don't know that I would realise in, in, in the situation that because she's bid four diamonds would mean she's got 19, though. I don't really understand that. Well, you, you've got to think, right? Mm. What does your one spade bid mean? Yeah, well, it means it was an overcall, an actual bid, wasn't it? An mm. overcall. You could just have six. You could have mm. just six points. Yeah? Yeah. So if you were absolute minimum, Pat's saying and that she game's on in spades. Yeah, she, yeah, she well, would, she's just further describing a hand, just in case you're a little bit better. Right, than I, un that. I understand that now. She, she, If she hadn't have got more points, she wouldn't have done that. She might have just bid okay. two spades or three <laughs> yeah, spades. Okay. Yeah. So, four no trumps. So, 41, okay, would be five clubs. Okay, so the trump suit spades. Five diamonds would be not or three, Pat. Okay. So there you go. So five diamonds shows naught or three. So obviously it's not going to be naught. So this is the whole point of Roman key cards. So you've got this difference of one or four, naught or three. It's obvious what she's got. She's not going to have zero. <coughs> she's got about a 19 count. So she's not going to have zero key cards. So she must have three key cards. So the three okay. key cards, so yes, she's going to have I no points in diamonds because you, sh you shouldn't splinter. Mm -hmm. Okay. You shouldn't splinter in... in um, mm -hmm. Mm. In, in diamonds and have points in it, okay? Because wasted points. All right, so, so do I go up to this? You have to tell me if I'm wrong here. So you're missing one, so there you go. She so can just go straight for it. Because <clears throat> you've got enough points. Okay. So do I need to bid on? No, no. We're just passing. Barbara was in control. You splintered. You showed you got a, about a 19 count. You've got a four card spade support. You've got a singleton diamond. You've shown all your hand. Barbara's in control. Barbara's in complete control. She knows exactly what's going on. Oh, do I? She's, she's made the, deci the decision that six spades is the best resting point. Okay. The stronger Barbara. hand is going to be on the dummy, isn't it? Sorry? Won't the stronger hand be on the dummy? Yeah, but quite often in these situations, um, it, it, it doesn't matter. Okay. So a bit of careful play. This The hands might get a bit, bit harder to play, but you should still mm -hmm. be able to have a crack at the making these. Okay, so all the trumps are gone.
Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Again, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? I mean, I'm, I'm making it a bit more easy because the songs are breaking too, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, maybe really in these contracts, you want to look at, you've got very high space and what you can do is try to rough the diamonds before drawing trump because you've got to think sometimes the trumps might break three one okay so sometimes you want to get backwards and forwards to yeah. play the diamonds okay and it's likely north has the at least four diamonds because they've doubled four diamonds as well mm. okay uh, so sometimes you've got to be careful about drawing trumps that you're not drawing too many yeah. okay and sometimes what you want to do is you might want to um play uh the high cards from dummy and rough with low cards okay sometimes mm. okay but you made that so, so mm -hmm. not always the, the so they open one club and you're not splintery so sometimes you'll splinter from after partners made the bid so it'll go one club so north may have passed actually so if it if north passes he goes one spade and then you bid four diamonds and you still get to six spades. So again, how many points have we got here? So 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, opposite nine. So that's 27. 27 points, combined points. And how easy was it to make six yeah. spades? Yeah, yeah. Pretty easy. And you've got a combined 27 count. So, you know, you told 33 points, but yeah. you've made it easy, Yeah. you know? could probably have less points okay if you didn't have the jack of hearts you'd, you'd still mm. you'd still make it for instance okay um so with about seven six or seven points less than what you normally need yeah you've made you've made the slam okay yeah. so this is the power of splinters okay and, and being able to rough um things out Okay, and then thinking about how uh, all your points being in free suits, that kind of thing. So what what you what you've got is basically fits in 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 two or three suits. And when you've got fits, you know, a double fit or even a treble fit, then it makes your trick taking potential that much better. Okay, mm -hmm. so and splinters just help you find that out. With normal yeah. bidding, you know, you'd you'd normally go one club, one spade, and you'd bid say four spades, okay, and then that'd be it. That'd be the end of the auction, okay. So with splinters, you can find out um, thin slams. You know, you got 26, yeah. uh, 26 or twenty seven points, and you can make a slam. Yeah. So yeah. that's the power of uh, splinters. Yeah. Another look at another hand. <laughs> Just carry on unless somebody shouts out I want to come in. <laughs> well, I'm ready to come in, I think, John. All right. Uh, so if someone drops out. There you go. You can sit in my seat, Stuart. There you go. Sit east. <clears throat> Thank you. This is where the splinters, <laughs> you'll find that suddenly everyone's bidding the same <coughs> suit. <laughs> so a splinter, from my perspective, a splinter is determined by two jumps. Yeah, so the free spade bid is as if, as if like um, that bid had never, I mean, sometimes people could have a different agreement here, but if you keep this as a splinter, I think that's fine. But some people might say that three spades here might mean something different. You might be saying 
some people play this as um, asking for a spade stop in for no trumps or something like that. But I would, I would, um, I would, I would still play as a splinter here. Okay. Right. Um, so okay. it's exactly the same. It's as if that one spade bid hadn't happened. Okay. And you can see they're white. Okay. So they're non-vulnerable. So they're just trying to make it a little bit harder for you by pushing up the bidding. Okay. So you've got to decide now whether you think slams or not, or you just want to bid five hearts or, or you want to double them in four spades or, or whatever. Okay. So do you want any help, William, or can you, do you know the responses? Let me. <clears throat> Look, am I bidding five hearts? That would show two out of the five. So oh. four aces and the king of trumps would show two out of the five. Five clubs would be one or four. Right, so it's three, so it's five, five diamonds. Yeah. Not all three. That's right. And therefore it must be three. <clears throat> so he's got four hearts with you. And three. With the king of hearts and two. Well, you can work it out, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Okay, well, bed cafe. So. It was a bit ambitious. Well, this time, what it was is that you had the two kings. So if you could sort of say, if partner's got the two aces to go with those two kings, I've got no losers in the minors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if partner's got the king of hearts, knowing that partner's got four hearts, I've got a 10 card heart bit. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I'm not going to have a loser in hearts because they're most likely going to break 2 1. Okay. So I see that now. Lose. I can see all the cards. I didn't at the time. Okay. So six, seven, eight. You've only got 12 points, but you've got an extra heart, you see, which makes all the difference. So if, if you add on your 12 and partner's 13, let's say they've got only got 13, that's 25. Okay, so that's less than 26. But because you've got an extra heart, that's probably worth like an extra two points. And, right. you, and it's quite an easy slam to beat. Once you know that partner's got, because the, sink, the, the splinter bed shows no points in spades. Once you know that partner's got three, okay, um, then you've got the two aces here. Okay, and so there's no minor loser. You're gonna lose a spade, but then you can rough. Okay, and after playing ace king, the queen's gonna drop. So you know you're gonna have two hearts in partner's hand to rough these other two spades. And as it turns out, partner's also got a great club suit as well, so you can ditch loads of cards. So if they don't take their spades trick, okay, you can end up um, chucking um, three spades on the clubs even, yeah? So you wouldn't lose any. So that's why I'd say, you know, you asked the question before, should you lose, should you leave the splinter suit? So in this situation, you should do, because if you lead anything else, you'll take all 13 tricks. Okay. Now, as an aside, let's have a look at this. So let's suppose you, um, the defense bids six spades. Okay. Um, you've got, Three diamonds to lose, potentially. Three clubs is six, and a heart is seven. Okay. Uh, so we've got seven losers. So that's six off, isn't it? Six mm -hmm. off in six spades. So that's, if you get doubled, which you will do, mm -hmm. that's one, three, five, eight, eleven, fourteen hundred. <laughs> So you'd save 30 points then. You save 30 points, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But if everyone's bidding six hearts and you were playing match points, if you were playing pairs and you could bid six spades, you'd actually save yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you'd save yourself um one imp if you're playing teams, or you'd, or you'd get the top if everyone else is bidding six hearts, yeah, and then you bid six spades and get doubled and go for six off. So sometimes, yeah, there can be um you know, you can look out for um, a possible save. Yeah. Okay, but only if the vulnerability is right. So on this particular hand, yeah, you've got to think, oh, I can go six off here and save save some money. Mm -hmm. if, if, Kathy, if Kathy had only got five hearts there and the three hearts were in the uh, north hand. Yeah, if she only got five hearts, okay, then it's a little bit more precarious. Mm. Um. Mm -hmm. Then you're thinking, right, I'll just bid five hearts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So if you've only got five hearts, so yeah. you haven't got this this rule of 26, um, then you you may you may well just bid five hearts and, and you're probably gonna make five hearts. So because you're vulnerable, rather than doubling them in four spades, um, what should that get? 14, 800. Actually, it might be okay. Mm -hmm. Dublin in four spades, even. Yeah, I think with this hand, I probably wouldn't bid four spades. Uh, no, it was just hand. pushing up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good bid, just a bit of practice and stuff. That's good. But the thing is about this hand, it's very flat. Okay, it's a very flat hand. So, yeah, you of course, you can make it, um, you can bid four spades, but I would say bid it when you've got some distribution. So, let's say these two clubs were two diamonds in your hand. So, you had four spades and six diamonds or something like that then I've bid four spades because you've got distribution. So if you're looking to make a sacrifice, then have some more distribution. But this is very, it's pretty flat. It's four, four, two, three. Yeah. So yeah. I would, um, mm. you know, think about bidding six spades because obviously we've worked it out that it's actually a bit, it's, it, it, you'll save an imp or you'll, you'll get a top at mat. You'll get a better score anyway. Okay. Um, 
But yeah, uh, when, with a very flat hand, uh, maybe but not. Also, on maybe bidding, not bid it. You've got to spot the splinter if opponents are bidding their long suits, which is your splinter. Sorry, say again. But also on the bidding, you've got to be able to spot the splinter when the opponents have already bid their long suit, which is your splinter. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got to spot that. Yeah, well, obviously it's not natural, is it? So the only thing you've got to decide then is, um, so some people use different things. So some people use like, uh, some people like will bid like things like two spades to show a good raise in hearts. Um, some people might use three spades here to show, um, I want partner you to bid three no trumps if you've got a spade stopper, for instance. So let's say you had a long minor. But what I would suggest here, it's better used as a splinter Okay, because if you do have a long minor, you can just bid two clubs, first of all, and then later on you could bid spades. Okay, uh, hopefully, if you get the chance. Um, so, yeah. And just look for the two jump. Sorry? Just look for the two jump. Yeah, the two, the two jumps. Yeah, yeah, the jumps. Um, yeah. So, in that situation, still a splinter. Okay, let's... Uh, Right, Stuart's in, right? So we'll crack on with another hand. But on that last hand, just going back to that last hand, some people might not overcall with, with Stuart's hand. Yeah, because he's only got a seven count. But um, yeah, not vulnerable. I think it's okay to bid a spade there. Have you missed bid again? This touch screen's not very good, Pat. Sorry. <laughs> no. Oh. Try again. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? It won't do what I want it to do. <laughs> right, try again. I'll look. Do you do the I'm alert? I'm out, I'm do you got do a proper the, computer. <laughs> do you do the first, the alert first? I would just, try, I would just try to get the bid right, and don't worry about the alert. <laughs> Houston, we seem to have a problem. <laughs> Is that a correct bid? No. <clears throat> right. We'll get there if we try every other suit. Actually. I know there's not much left. Is really. <laughs> I tell you what it is? Because. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Am I trying to type at the wrong time? Is this? Should I do it afterwards? I, I don't know. I wouldn't bother. Just, Pat, just concentrate on bidding the right thing. Forget about alerting it. Just just make the right bid. <clears throat> yeah, do it afterwards. Right. So, Stuart, you've got to decide, yeah. does that fit in well with your hand? Is that what you want to bid? Oh, I thought I did. <laughs> What does that mean, even? Oh, yeah, it's four, is it? Four, wait a minute. So Pat's made a, a splinter bid. She's got a singleton club, and she's basically saying that four spades, we should be able to make that partner. 
with the values I've got. And but is there a chance of slam on if you've got the right cards? Right. Does that splinter bid work? So you've got to do go for this rule mm -hmm. of twenty six, Stuart. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Right? Stuart, do you know what the rule of 26 is? Yeah, I've got 13 points. Right, so you don't know it. So the splinter bid, right? So you, you've, got to, you've got to count your points outside, okay? Your, your high card points outside of the splinter suit, okay? Mm -hmm. So add up your points outside of clubs. Yes. Right. Right. Add that on to 13. Does that come close to 26? Nope. So <laughs> therefore, you shouldn't be looking for slam. Right. Yeah. So it's not it's not adding up your points in the top. It's it's looking at the splinter suit. OK. Partner's got a singleton club. Or avoid in, in, in clubs. OK. So you want to undo that one, yeah? I'm just going to get a water. Okay, lead on Macduff. So Kathy's double to show she's happy with her club lead. Okay, so they didn't break 2 2 this time. So there's, there's a cup of tea going on now. I know. Who is that? Oh, it's that. Yeah, well done, William. Take two of their spades for one of yours.
you go. Bit of luck, the queen dropped. Mm. <clears throat> okay, so you made 11 tricks. So you see there, Stuart, uh, your king jack of clubs isn't as useful, okay? So you can't really count those points. Yeah. Um, so let's just have a look at the play. Um, so Kathy doubled four clubs for a club lead, and you gave a club lead. So here, Kathy. Yeah. You kind of kind of stuck a little bit. You don't want to play a club because there's no clubs in, in there. You don't really want to play a diamond. You kind of don't want to play a heart, okay? Well, you definitely don't want to play a heart, but you did do, okay? So what I'd play is I'd just play the ten of spades, okay? If partner's got the ace or the king, they're going to win that 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 uh, that trick, all right? But by playing a spade, you're getting rid of a, a spade out of dummy as well, okay? Um, but you don't want to play a heart, yeah? I was trying to promote my king. Sorry? I was trying to promote my king. Yeah, but you can win the king when when declarer takes a heart finesse. Right. You you're leading into the the tennis. Yeah. You don't want to do that. You want them to lead through ace queen and you win the king. Yeah. Okay. If you have a look there, there's jack x opposite ace queen to four. Um. So if they play a heart to the queen, okay, or they play the jack of hearts, okay, and play small small, you're going to win it with the king, aren't you? Yeah. So you didn't actually get any heart winners. Because no. you played towards it. So you can't play a heart. A heart is the last thing you can do. Okay, so okay. you're either going to play a dime, a club, and I probably wouldn't play a dime. I would play the ten of spades at this point. Yeah, if partner's got the ace or king of spades, you know, it sounds like they've got, probably going to have pretty good spades between them. Okay. So, and you can see that they're roughing uh, clubs. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, yeah, you absolutely can't play a heart, okay? <laughs> so that's the last thing you, you, you should play. And if you do that, then you might, it might start getting a bit trickier, okay, for declarer. Um, so you lost kind of a bit, bit of control on, on the, um, in this contract, Stuart. So what I would try to do, think about how you play these suits. So diamonds, you always want to play to the king <laughs> queen, yeah? You want to play yeah. towards the king queen. You don't want to play the king. So if you well, I'd lose if, a bit with the ace anyway, wouldn't I? If the ace is in the south hand, so you play towards the king queen, okay, then you can get two tricks in diamonds, you see, and then ditch something else, a club or a hawk. So you, you've got to deal with all these clubs, okay? The king's a winner because he's got a club to the ace, so now your king's a winner, okay? So you've got to deal with these two clubs. You've also got to deal with the heart, okay? So you've got two clubs to lose and a heart to lose. And you want to obviously try to pitch them on, on winning cards. So you either want to rough them or you want to pitch them on winning cards in diamonds. So if you play towards the king-queen twice, okay, you're going to force south to go up with the ace. So you play a diamond to the king. You get over here, you play another diamond to the, the queen. and But they're going to go in with the ace. And then that promotes, you, you know, the other card. Yeah, but well, if you play the king on this hand, then they're going to win with the ace. Okay. So yeah. they, they, they've taken it. If you, if you play towards the king queen, so you should always play towards king queen if you can, not away from it. Sometimes it, you have to play the king. Okay. And it doesn't cost sometimes, depending on if you just want one trick from the suit. But if you're trying to get these, trying to get two diamond winners, Play towards that, and if the if the ace is in this hand, then it promotes two tricks, doesn't it? You yeah. see that? So play yeah. towards king queen. So you always want to play towards strength, okay? When you declare her, not away from it, okay? So it's like here in the hearts, you want to play towards the ace queen if you're going to take a finesse. You don't want to be in this hand to play the ace of hearts, do you? You can't take a finesse from if you're in this hand, in the west hand. You want to play towards it. Okay, so I would have like um, won with the so when on the ten of spades return, uh, you could either you could win with that and then possibly take the heart finesse. Okay, so if the heart finesse loses, okay, 
then you could get back into this hand by roughing a heart. You see, if you play a diamond towards the king queen, you're kind of stuck in this hand because this hand should probably duck it. So you play a diamond towards the king queen, and let's say this hand ducks, you win with the king. Now you're kind of stuck in this hand, and you want to play another trump to get back over. Whereas if you play the hearts first, okay, so let's say the heart finesse works, and you play another heart, the top heart, you can play a small heart and then rough that and get back over here to then play the diamond towards the king queen, or you can play a club and, and rough that. Okay, but try to play towards the king queen. All right. So I'm not okay, going to yep. I'm not gonna go yep. through the um, the rest of the hand. Um, does um, who went out then? Does Barbara want to come back in for anyone? I might have probably been, I've probably been booted out before anybody leaves the table. I've probably, I may very well have been booted out of um, Yeah. Yes, I've been booted have. out. So. All right. Well, we'll just carry on. Just carry on until I can get back in. This is so a little here, bit different here, Cathy. Am I answering about aces or just aces and kings? Well, you're, you're answering to aces and the king of trumps. But this time you've got the void in clubs. Uh, Patrick, I'm just going to have to mute Patrick. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, 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 yeah. Just making a, if you just mute yourself, Patrick. So, um, right. So you answer... You're answering, um, oh, got lost again. Oh, sorry. So basically slightly different. When you've got a void, okay, the, the answers are you bid five no trumps with either not two or four of the five controls, okay? And you bid the void suit with one or three. Just writing that down. That's, Can you that's say that weird. again? Okay. <laughs> so, We're all writing that down. <laughs> so basically, well, it's on my website anyway. If you go to Stella Bridge, it's on there anyway. So with not two or four, you bid five no trumps. Okay. And if you've got one or three, you bid six of um of your void if if you can if it's if it's if it's um so here you know, i will be six clubs correct that was complicated so that bid shows one or three controls william why, why is that not five clubs because that would be 41. That would show one or four. Okay. That would show one or four. Right, right. Okay. But without a void. <clears throat> this now specifically shows a void. And it's obvious what the void suit is. It's obviously clubs. Yeah. William, we're going to have to spend a day writing up these notes tomorrow. You don't have to write them up. It's on the, you can print them off the work, my website. So. I know, but I like to have them next to me. Yeah, you can print them off. Print them off the website then. Well, yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's one or three. Okay. So obviously, it's got no nothing in clubs. So there's no control in clubs. Okay. Other than the fact that it's a void. Okay. 
and she's got like 13 points in the other three suits. So that means she's going to have like a, she's going to be something like a 544 or something that kind of shape. You to bed, Stuart. Waiting for Stuart to bed. Stuart, yeah. So with that bid, sometimes you might decide to bid, um, you might want to bid seven spades or not, you know. <laughs> unlikely you want to bid a seven on this. Okay, so it's Pat, you're, you to leave. Okay. So they've broken evenly for you, so that was nice. It's kind to you. Oh, what have you done? All oh, right, okay. Uh, cocked up on that one. <laughs> Planning too far ahead. Yeah. Okay, you can claim the rest, you've got the rest. Well, we should have made twelve there, shouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. silly silly mistake. So what you do, just draw two rounds of trumps, okay? And if they break 3-1, you're still okay, because then what you can do is then set up the diamond. So what I would do is, after drawing the two rounds of trumps, I would just play a diamond towards the queen. Yeah, to get, the, to get the Set the diamonds up. The diamonds can get rid of all your clubs. You don't even have to. And also, you can even play ace, jack of hearts. 
playing two small hearts. Yeah. When you get into dummy, you've got king, queen of hearts mm. to ditch two clubs even. Okay, so your diamonds are going to provide a source of tricks. You play queen, jack, and another diamond, then, you know, all the diamonds are going to be good. Okay, mm. so just, just play your two or three rounds of spades. So if they break three, one, you're still okay. Because the diamonds are going to provide uh, tricks. Okay? Yeah. So... Yeah, we should we should have made twelve there. Not yeah, I know. quite easily. Super so mistake. this 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 time, um, if we if we go if let's say we didn't have this jump bid of six clubs to show the void, okay, we'd have a look at this and um, if we were to bid four no trumps and let's say you didn't tell partner you'd got this void, you'd now just respond one. Yes, yeah, so you bid five clubs. And so you'd look at your hand and think one or four, well, it's got to be one. And now you're thinking, well, I've got a loser in clubs, I've got a loser in diamonds, I might have a loser in spades now. Okay, so you can see that um, you have to bid six clubs to show this void. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, um, otherwise you kind of uh, you, you're not gonna you're not gonna bid the slam. So. If there were five clubs, you'd then just bid five spades if, if you didn't show this. Um, so if the hand was slightly different, if that diamond was, say, the, the eight of clubs, okay, you'd have still splintered, you'd have still bid the same thing, and then you'd have responded five clubs, and you'd have ended up in five spades, okay, losing a club and one diamond. So if that diamond was a club, so you can see the difference there, just shifting one card, that you can't make the slam, okay? If you make that four of diamonds a club, now you, you, you'll end up bidding five spades, okay? But because you've got that void, you can now bid six. And the extra, having a five card diamond suit um, quite often means you can set up a set, that, that, that suit to use as, um, to, 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 to discard clubs on as well, okay? Okay, so never mind, William. Um, <laughs> you know you should have made it. Yeah, I know. Okay, I know. but you can see it's quite, these, these slams are, generally they're quite easy to play what you need to do is think about just once you're drawing the trumps here or you know make sure that you can afford to draw the trumps that don't be afraid to lose you see i think you're worried yeah. about losing the deck just get yeah. rid of that loser out the way you're gonna lose it you can't get rid of it on anything okay so just lose it early okay and it make, it makes the whole hand easier you just made it all difficult for yourself because you're You'd end up having to you you rough in the clubs and end up being out of spades and then you haven't played the diamonds. So mm. if you're out of spades, so if you rough two clubs with two spades and then play a diamond, this hand could win with the ace of diamonds and then play a club because there's no there's no spades in, in yeah, So yeah. get rid of that, get rid of that uh losing ace of diamonds. Lose it earlier after you've drawn the trumps, and it, it just makes the whole hand easier for mm. you to play out. It takes all the stress. <laughs> Of it by doing that. Anyway, we'll look at one last hand then. That's gone. All right, that's gone. Right, Barbara's in. Mm. Well, it should be. It was just set. It just still says. Oh, I'm in then. Right, okay. Let's make this a good one. Well, try. Right, so I think about this, Barbara. Sorry, I don't know that one. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Alexa. I think it should be this, but you should tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Or do you think you've got a chance to slam with your hand? Oh, well, maybe I should be. Hmm. I'll ask for an undo then. Hmm. 
Um, well, we might as well do this. You look at your distribution. You got extra. You got you know more distribution. Mm, yeah. Do you need any help, Stuart, or can you manage? Well, I'll have a go. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, five clubs is four, four or one. Five diamonds is naught or three. Oh. Five hearts would be two. Don't forget the trump suit is hearts. Yeah. So the key cards are the four aces and the king of hearts. So that's when you're responding to the four um, four no trumps. How many key cards have you got? Three. Four. Three. Two. Two. So your response is five hearts. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to undo... <clears throat> okay. I've made them all. I've made them all, have I? Just yeah, there's them. no hearts out. Right. Okay, so this is actually a hand where you, you should look for, you know, seven. you should try, yeah, you seven. should look for seven. Okay. So, um, one heart, four clubs, and you bid four no trumps, five hearts, you've got two. Okay, so you've got the king of hearts and you've got the ace of spades. So you know that from the bid. You've definitely got the king of hearts and the ace of spades. Yeah. 
you're not worried about the queen of hearts because you know partner's got four, so you've got a 10 card fit. So yeah. as long as they break 2-1, okay, and even if they break 3-0, there's a chance that you can still make the contract. But if they normally break normally, okay, 2-1, which is more than 50% of the time, can't remember the exact um, odds, but uh, it's more than 50%. So if they break 2-1, you know you're going to have two hearts left over to trump two of your cards. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Barbara? Yes, yeah. After yeah. playing the ace and king of hearts, you know mm -hmm. you're going to have two hearts left over. Yeah. So, you know partner's got a singleton club. So these two clubs here, mm -hmm. the five and the four, can get trumped by partner's two hearts, if need be. Yeah? yeah? Your three of spades is dealt with with the ace, and you know partner's got that. So all you're bothered about is the king of diamonds. So if partner's got the king of diamonds, <clears throat> you can see that seven hearts should be on. Right. Yeah, do you see that? Well, yeah, I suppose so. I might do when I, when I watch it again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But you can basically sort of count through the hand. Where are my losers okay. going? Yeah, so okay. Partner's got a single sum club, so I can deal with that. So mm -hmm. I've, the ace of spades is sorted out with that. Mm -hmm. So I've got to think, you know, where's this jack of diamonds going? That's a little bit of a worry, so I need to sort that out. Mm -hmm. So over four no trumps. Sorry. You've got the response five hearts showing two. Now you can bid, you can ask for kings now. So you can bid five no trumps. Right. Now partner's got two kings. Okay. So what you can do here over um, five, five no trumps, you'd now bid six clubs. This paradox kings it's known as. Right. So you clearly can't have the king of clubs. So what you're doing now by bidding six clubs, you are showing two kings. Mm. We've already okay. shown the trump king, so now you're showing a further two kings. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You've shown the trump king, so that isn't included in, in yeah. the asking for kings. But yeah. You sh the partner's shown you the king, so correct. Yeah. You're, not, you're not looking at the king of hearts. Either. You're just looking at the other kings. You're really interested. You're only interested, actually, is the king of diamonds, to be honest with you. But as it turns out, partner's also got the king of spades as well. Mm -hmm. So over five no trumps, you now bid six clubs to show that you've got two kings, these mm. the, the two other kings, mm. okay? You can't have the king of clubs because A, you've got it, and the mm -hmm. splinter bit should say that you don't have, um, yeah. I mean, sometimes you might have the singleton king of, uh, you know, the singleton king in the, in the splinter bit, but you shouldn't be including it within your um, response. So you need to have 13 points in, in, in the suits, okay? Mm. It, it just might be extra, as it were. But if you do add that singleton king, then obviously you, you can count it kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But um, when you initially splinter, you just assume that partner's got like a singleton or a void, and it's a useless singleton. It's like the two or something. So when your partner bids six clubs, you now know that partner's got the king of diamonds and the king of spades. So I would have a quick look just to, so seven hearts is on, but I would just have a quick think is seven no is seven no trumps on just uh, just just to see so you've got six hearts the ace and king of spades that's two so that's eight ace and king of diamonds that's 10 and the ace king of clubs so that's 12. so we don't have a guaranteed 13 mm -hmm. okay i mean there's a chance that you can make 13 obviously if you look at it if you played a diamond if you got over here and you played a diamond towards a jack the diamond finesse works, but you don't want to be in seven no trumps, okay? Mm -hmm. Because you're just doing that on a uh, finesse, okay? So seven no trumps isn't guaranteed, but seven hearts mm -hmm. looks solid. Okay? Can I just ask a question? Yeah. On the rule of 26, um, when he, the splinter was clubs, not counting the clubs, I only had 10 points, so that's why I only bid for... Yeah, Hearts. yeah. Would but you here, then add that because you've only got a singleton spade that you would add at sort of a, an extra point or two for that? Yeah, you've got like a singleton spade, you've got mm. an extra heart, you've got mm. three aces. An extra heart, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've got three aces. Also, having the ace in the splinter suit takes care of that. You've got no losers in clubs. Okay. But it's a slightly different hand. And also you've got shortness in diamonds as well. So you can right. be you can be roughing, and because you've got extra length, yeah. it just adds, it just it it, it just helps. Okay, mm. and you can basically see that if partner's got, 
you know, uh, these cards here, yeah. the King of Hearts and the Ace of Spades, that, you know, uh, if, if they don't, if they don't have, um, if they're missing one, so if they've only got one, then you can just stay out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're missing the Ace of Spades, you're just, you're just playing six hearts. Yeah. So okay. the rule of 26 is not hard and fast rule. Really. No, exactly. It's not hard and fast. Yeah, yeah. If, you've got different, if you've got different extra shape, like six, four mm. here, uh, this kind of shape, you can go on. But that's The rule of 26 is more if you've got, say, a five card. Right, yeah. Uh, heart suit or spade suit. Um, and um, sort of balanced-ish hand. But here, yeah. you've got like a six, four. It's slightly different. You, you don't need yeah. as much. Mm. Okay. Right, okay, and you can you can easily sort of pick the cards out You're here. You know, Ace of Spades. You found out after four no trumps that partner's got the Ace of Spades and King of Hearts, and now you can start seeing that if yeah. partner's got this, then seven can be on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just got to sit there for a while and just have a think. Oh, if partner's got this, and can I ask partner that? Can I bid five no trumps? Um, yeah. Is there anything that he could bid after I bid five no trumps that will I won't be able to make six hearts or yeah. something. So if you're going to go to six hearts and you've got a free shot at finding out if seven hearts is on, okay, then take that shot, okay? It's not costing you anything. You can see seven hearts, you made it. It was easy, yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's 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 tonight done. Anyone got any other Thank questions? Thank you very much. Anything? That's wonderful. Uh, John, it, yeah. how often would this sort of come up on an average bridge night? Spencers come up all the time, uh, but a lot of the time, uh, sometimes you will just, um, uh, sometimes you'll be lazy and not bid a splinter bid. I've mm. done it myself. Mm. I've just thought, mm, I don't think slams on it. A partner hasn't opened the bidding. Yeah. I, had a, I had a hand the other night. It went, uh, I mean, partner should have opened, but he passed. And right hand up, um, right hand up bid, uh, what did he do now? Bid, what did he do? I can't remember now. He bid something like a, a spade. He bid a spade, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, he bid. Uh, what did he do now? Went a diamond, two clubs over Carl, and then my partner bid two hearts. And I, I had four card heart suit and a singleton spade, and I should have now bid. So he went one. One uh, diamond, two clubs, two hearts from my partner, and I had four card hearts So, So I just jumped to four hearts. But what I could have done is jump, I could have bid three spades, which would have been a splinter. And we had an easy six hearts on. It was easy. It was like yeah. just cold as the, uh, because I had ace queen of diamonds over this this hand. And my partner had something like, he was top of the range, but he had six card hearts. He should have actually opened the bidding, but he was, he was right on, he had two aces, he had the ace of spades and I had the singleton spade. And uh, he had the queen, a sing, he had a singleton queen of clubs as well. And I had like a six card club suit, king jack 10 to six. And all we were missing was the ace of clubs. And it was, it was just lay down. It was the easy slam to, 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 to bid. Um, and it was just lazy bidding on me because if partner had passed, I didn't bother splintering and we missed, um, Missed an easy slam. If yeah. they just bid three spades, partner could have just gone. Well, if you can bid three spades, I can just go straight to. He could have just bid straight to slam. Okay, but um, how often did it, did it occur? Oh, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I don't know. One in fifty hands, maybe, or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. not sure, not sure. Uh, the exact. What I would say is, when you splinter, you tend to have values across the other three suits okay yeah. okay um but yeah as you can see what how many points have we got here uh seven eight nine ten eleven fourteen twelve thirteen fourteen what's that is that 17 17 opposite 14 so 31 this time but we've made yeah. seven yeah and it was easy easy to make seven hearts and it's easy to bid really if you just stop and think yeah. about it for a while rather than just bid to six so you've got 31 mm -hmm. points so normally you need about 37 points to bid a grand slam okay so if you bid to seven hearts you'd be taking all the points 
you know, you'd be taking all the match points home with you most most of the time. Not many people would be bidding it. Mm. Okay, but using the splinter bid, um, I think one heart, four hearts, you'd probably look for aces on this hand. So you'd probably get to six. Mm. Um, yeah, so I think you'd still get to six, but uh, actually you might still, yeah, you, you might, you'd struggle to get to... Uh, to seven because you don't know how, what's going on in the club suit. Mm. Yeah, if partner's got three little clubs, <coughs> you're not sure, you know, how, how, how do you park? You know, you don't know about how to get rid of that fourth club. Yeah, if partner's got three little clubs in the hand, you mm. can't be guaranteed that seven's on. But with the splinter bid, you can just count the, you can count the tricks. It's so much yeah. easier. All right, so right, I'll finish there. Right, thank you very much, John. Okay, thank you, John. Right. thanks, John. Cheers. Thanks, John. Cheers. Thanks, John.